this is Atka. Um, for this interview, I would like to uh, begin with my working experience um, before talking about my education and everything. So the working, I started, uh, I was only do a day linked to my teaching uh, agency. So um, the first one that I did uh, was um, University Place uh, 13. And I was teaching English to undergraduate students and they were um, trying to become engineers. So I started with those kind of uh, people and this was for maybe two years. And then I moved um, teaching to young people. I, w I have a position in a, a youth uh, cultural center in my uh, town. And uh, it was about a child, about, uh, I had three groups actually. The first one, they were about three and uh, four years old. Second one, they were about five and six years old. And the third one, it was about um, seven and eight years old. So it was on Saturday morning, and I really enjoyed that one. That was the the last one that I um that I did that I had. So I had really uh, amazing um, child. For example, I had this picture of Ines. She was incredible. I had the other one. It's uh, Sandy. She was not that bright, but anyway. Uh, and related to my working experience, I also worked in a high school for uh, six years, and I was working as an educational assistant. So when I was living this year uh, by March, they made some kind of picture. One of our colleagues made a made picture drawing, image drawing for me. So you can see this one. Um, and flat this picture and then you have this one is the study of slavery by Italian and then you have the caricature of President Obama so uh, this is really a kind of memories that I'm keeping in my mind with my first half in that high school and this I worked there. So now I'll be done with the um, educational, uh, with the working experience. We can move on um, to the educational experience. I started, I had my um, baccalaureate in Tonga in 2006, and then I moved to Paris. I had my bachelor's degree in uh, literature. This was a mix of British and American literature and history at the same time. And then during my master's degree, I was able to be specialized in um, American history. That's when, uh, that's how I came to work on, uh, for my uh, memoir in Paris. It was about the uh, it was about the beginning of the black political fight. I used two authors, Frederick Douglass and Martin Derman. They were uh, the one that I used as pioneers of the uh, black political fight. And then, right now, I'm working on my PH, <coughs> on my PhD, and. I'm actually in my third year, and the subject of my dissertation is the history of education in its importance in black political thought. It's going from the era before Civil War going to the uh, 1960s. So actually, I'm a millionaire, and I've been granted a scholarship by my doctoral school to consult the archives of the uh, special collection from the University of Paris. And um, I'm really excited about that. So I'm 
here too much. Um, I think when it they wear their shit by now, just for themselves. I'm really quick and happy about that. So right now we can move to uh, the short story that I chose for today, and it's about um, the hare and the dolphin. So you have here, right here, the hare. So we go away from the hair. The hair was once roasting up his beard before the other animals. I was saying, I have never yet been beaten, said he. When I put forth my protest, I challenge anyone here to wake me. The tortoise said quietly, I accept your challenge. That is a good joke, said the hair. I could dance round you all the way. Keep your bosom till you've won, answered the dolphin. Shall we wait? So a curse was fixed and a start was made. The hare dared almost out of sight at once, but soon stopped and, to show his contempt for the tortoise, lay down to have a nap. The tortoise plodded on and plodded on, and when the hare awoke from his nap, he saw the tortoise just near the river and could not stop to run up in time to save the race. Then the tortoise said, Slow but steady, progress wins the race. Slow but steady, progress wins the race. Yes, I think it was a moral victory of the um, fable. So I hope that you really like it. I enjoyed reading it a lot. Bye. See you. Bye.